All right, guys. Let's pop here. So I think my chain needs to give it a wee sharp on the day here. Give us a wee look how to do it. Just set the wee clamp and wee G clamp into my jaw horse. And then I'll set the saw in here, clamp a, the saw in. And I can stand here and then I can fade it. So I'm gonna get her clumped in here and then give it a wee fade in and then see what we're at the day. guys so that is the wee um, saw all sharpened up what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this hair bit off and give it a wee cleaning out I just use a wee uh, old paintbrush for it just use that, take that off, give it a good scrubbing and um, we're good to go there you go guys stick it in this wee tripod here get a quick time lapse of this hair too hope everybody's having a good day Well, there we go, guys. That's the wee saw cleaned up. It's cleaned up and sharpened. It's ready to go. I'm going to turn that bar up over the next time. So we'll see how we go, guys. Here's a few uh, recent ones I've done. Look at this here. All spirals in it. It used to be a, uh, that was when the lockdown was on, that was my social distancing stick. That's a meter, my arm's a meter, so that was your two meter distance. So I had a social distancing stick that I had made. There you go. Now these wee guys here, wee spirits. There's one down there and there's another one hiding in the bottom. Just done that on an old twisted bit of stick I had. I have this here as a furry house I started. I'm going to start to carve it, the wood was wet, but it's starting to dry up now, so I'm going to finish that one off. That's that big earl that I done the flying earl. I carved that one in the last video. I done that one, I was a, trying out a speed carving, just try to whack that out as quick as I could without stopping. That's one I done away last year. I'm going to re carve it now and texture it and stuff. And then I have a uh, koi carpet done. It's like splashing waves around the bottom and it's jumping out of the waves. I just need to give that a wee, wee bit of detail and finish it off. And then of these two furry houses here, they need to get sprayed with oil. I might stick a wee drop of oil on them here now. And I'd say I'm there ready to go. For anyone's wanting them, that's ready to go. And that's ready to go. And I'll maybe sell my social distancing stick too. And then I have some lovely chunks of cedar here. A nice bit of spalted wood there too guys, look at that. We'll, we'll see what we'll get done with them. <clears throat> and then that lovely cedar. That's just some off cuts I had from when I was carving that big one. There we go, we've paired down there for burning guys. Well that's us. The saw is all cleaned up, ready to go. Just needed to say now what we're going to do. Hope everybody has a good wee day there. Everybody's staying creative. Enjoying that old sun. There you go, guys. So, it's happy as all soon. Right, guys. So, I'm going to show you <coughs> what I do with a dacking oil. The dacking oil is really thin. It's nearly like petrol. Same consistency as petrol, sort of. So, I sort of stick it into the wee bottle. Stick it into this bottle. And then I'll... Um, 
I can just spray it straight on the carbon. It's a lot easier than using a brush or whatever. And you get a lot more of an even coat on it. But I have two wee furry houses to give a spray to anyway, so that'll give us a lock here and putting the wrong lid on that. That lid goes on that. So there we go. That sticky oil in the one of them wee squirty bottles just. It's a lot easier for a planet. That's the stuff that I'm using there guys, just dagging oil. It's good stuff. Let's grab one of these carbons here. This needs a wee brush. I have these wee houses. They're made in silver birch. Just been sitting here for a bit so they're a bit dusty. There we go. This was a um, lovely silver birch. So the wood shit popped lovely. There was decent wee burning and stuff around it. You can see there. A wee window and a wee door and all that. So we have two of them to do. I'll get the other one, sure. And as well, I need to give this one a wee clean too, guys. You should really pop nice here with this oil. I had a wee coat of oil on it already, but there's no score. I sit around for a wee bit to suck in it, to suck in the oil, so. Go. Brush it away. Let's grab this here. We'll cut this here. Set him over to the side out of the way there for a minute. Hopefully you can see this one. So we'll go give him a wee squirt. Go. There's a bit of that roof. And that's your neck. Three steps and stuff. of it now. I need a couple of coats of this here anyway. As you can see there, how much the oil oil makes a pop compared to that one. Let's stick that one over the side now. Give this one a wee blast. steps there we go I got some make on there we go guys all good stick our dagger oil into a wee squirty bottle just wag it on there we go it's two wee furry houses ready to go Good. There we go. All good, guys. I'm gonna go. Um, hope everybody just has a good day there, stays creative. Just done a wee random video here today, sharpening my chainsaw and stuff, cleaning it out, and I've oiled them two up. And then we'll see what we're gonna do in the next video here. I think I'll do it for this video, guys. Everybody, stay creative.
It's Bob here in Belfast. I'll see you all later.